Hey, so today is Tuesday, um, October 31st, and we are headed to Katy. What a surprise. Um, we spend a lot of time in the evenings in the car. Um, we are, um, we have a storage unit there, and then we're going to go help out a friend. She is moving some stuff around. She moved into her new house in the area to where we thought we were going to be living. But like I said yesterday, we are praying about that. If we're supposed to buy that house or if we're supposed to live in a different location. So we're going to continue to seek the Lord on that. But we are headed to, um, we're headed to Katie and we're going to go help, um, uh, a friend of ours move some furniture around in her home because she's kind of an older woman and it's just herself. So we're going to help her move, um, some furniture and, um, then we're going to take care of a few, like, um, just a few little things like go to the post office and go to our storage unit and that's about it oh we might depending on the time we'll stop by the house of prayer if they're still going on because they have a session that goes on Tuesday evening so that's what we're up to I'm probably we're probably gonna run into some crazy looking people today since there are still some people who celebrate um, Halloween I actually went to go to Sephora yesterday to buy some makeup and there were some I forgot that Halloween was today um, in fact the day before that we had gone to a restaurant I think it was on uh, it was actually a Saturday night and um, the waiter was dressed in a costume and so was the host and I didn't realize, I thought maybe that was just how they, because the host was dressed in like this salsa um, thing. And I thought, oh, okay, that's how they are here at this restaurant. And then our waiter was dressed as a what? what Ghostbuster. Was, as a Ghostbuster. <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh, you guys are strange here. Okay, this is kind of fun though, fun restaurant. <laughs> and then I, oh, we have to remember to get some coolant. And then I remembered, oh my gosh, it's Halloween on Tuesday. Um, but it's funny because like when you don't live in that world and you just, I don't know, when you're just not around people like that. And when I say live in that world, like we don't have friends that celebrate Halloween. We just, we don't hang with that crowd. So... Um, I didn't even think about it. It's kind of like when you start to work from home and you don't necessarily work by a Monday through Friday schedule 8 to 5. Um, you kind of forget the day of the week. <laughs> um, it, little things like that. And I'm not saying that that's how it is in this situation, but I just totally forgot it was Halloween. So um, yesterday when we went to get some makeup, I <laughs> remember the the women there, they had used makeup, right, to dress up in Halloween. And they had some pretty crazy and wild makeup stuff on their faces. Um, I think it reminded me of certain movies, but they weren't movies that I've watched. They were just, I've seen it in like the commercials for the movies. I don't know. Would you recognize like what they were dressed as or I think one of them was like the night before Christmas type skull okay with the sewn lips okay and another one was uh, a sugar skull with all the colors oh, okay like the Mexicans use for Dia del Muerto and I can't remember what the other ones were huh did you watch the night before Christmas Yep. What you what you think of that? It's weird. But yeah. Yeah. I I actually never did see it. Um, I've never been a fan of watching. I don't know. Even if they're not scary, because they're stupid scary, I've just haven't been a fan of it. Like 
I guess my time is just too precious. I'm not saying that your time wasn't. <laughs> um, although it kind of sounds like it, but you know, back in the day, I think that um, his kids were into that and my kids were never into that. Um, or if they were, they never told me. Um, even Wyatt wasn't a fan of dressing up, um, which is interesting that I think back oh, to it. Fans of dressing <laughs> up, necessarily. No. They were, but they did like movies and stuff. Yeah. Wyatt loved movies, too. He did watch a lot of crazy, wild, weird, sketchy, scary, truly scary, and some that were just stupid scary. Mm -hmm. So, he did do that. Um, you know, it is what it is. And you hope and pray that you can teach your children to um, be stewards of their time. Which is interesting because we listened to a message the other day about being stewards of our time. And I, and I didn't realize this, but now I do. Mm -hmm. That God's going to judge us with our time. Like, God will actually judge us based on what we did with the time that with he gave us. With all resources, and time is actually the most valuable resource we have. Right, which is so wild. So, I don't know if you've heard him say that. We're going to be judged with our resources, and our resources includes the time. Our time is a resource. I'm just repeating that because... Hadid has is such a humble, quiet voice that I wanted to make sure you caught that, which is just crazy. I never thought about it. Like, how many other things do you think that we're going to be judged on that we don't realize, right? Uh, our resources. What kind of resources were we given? What kind of resources do we have that God's going to say <clears throat> this was given to you? You know, even just the intelligence that we have, like... God has given some people great, great intelligence. Like, just naturally, they're very smart. They're very witty. They're, they're very able and willing um, to learn new things and retain those things very easily. Um, and God's going to say, what, what did you do with that? So, like, I've given you the resource of intelligence, you know, what did you do with that? And that's pretty... Am I saying that right? Yeah, all of your gifts, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's a good way. Of all of the gifts that God has given us. Yeah, intelligence. Like, some of it is um, intelligence that we have learned from college, from school, or from others. And we can't discount it to say, oh, but, you know, I went to college to get that and learn that. But God's the one who gave us the resource to be able to go to college to get that knowledge and get that wisdom. God gave us the ability to learn those things that we can take forward into our job. Things like that, that I didn't realize that, wow, all that stuff will be judged. And God is... <clears throat> a God of love. Um, Jesus knows our heart and he's going to judge us from our heart standpoint, not from our words, not from what we say, but our actions, what we do. And, um, because out of our heart flows, what is that scripture? All the issues of life. All the issues of life. So, um, yeah, I'm rambling. <laughs> but I just, it, it kind of came to me just recently um, of just realizing the importance. Um, so that way you're not the importance of what we do. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the skyline as we're driving out. I don't know if you can, do I have the right thing on it? You need to point it that way, baby. Point it, am I there? Um, I'm, I'm driving. Okay, I'm just going to yeah, do this like sweeping... Like just in case, so you can see all of it. I'll go up and down. There you go. So, back to me and Hadid. <laughs> um, 
Today we are wearing warm coats because it is cold. It's the one degree. And he's laughing because it's 60. 62 now. 62 degrees. Oh boy. It's lying. I'm yeah, kidding. that can't it's be not. true. I'm kidding. It's not lying, but oh it my gosh. It feels way colder. It feels so cold because it's humid here, um, which you can kind of tell my hair is like all staticky. Um, Warren, I think you'd love it with your curls. Um, Clara, you too with your long wavy hair. Um, but with the humidity, it feels colder than it is. It's like piercing to the bone. But I actually would have to say it's similar to super dry weather like in Central Oregon where it was very, very dry. And whenever Auntie Anne would come visit us, she would talk about how cold it is, and I think a lot of it had to do with it was so dry. Similar here, it is so humid. And also that she came from California. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess have something to do with coming it. from California, but it's Huntington Beach is not as warm as you think, because Huntington Beach is um, tucked in, so it's not like I don't know. It's just it, even in the summertime. Um, the mid 80s was hot to California or hot to Huntington Beach but other parts of California got 90s and in the hundreds and over the hundreds but Huntington Beach because of the breeze coming off the ocean it always stayed cooler so I do have to say that about Huntington Beach is that it never got extremely hot um, I loved it there I love the the pace of life and I think that we'll like that up in this north area um, where we're looking at potentially moving um, is that the pace of life is laid back or at least that's what we've been told but Huntington Beach is for sure laid back and very conservative there which is kind of wild um, to think about because most of California especially southern is they're not conservative. So it's kind of like this small little pocket in California that is pretty amazing. And the food there was really good. They had a really good smoked brisket. I would have to say it was kind of up there close to where Hadid's brisket is. Hadid makes a really awesome brisket as well, smoked brisket. And uh, so did this restaurant. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. yeah, can't remember, but I know where it's located. Um, Warren and Claire, you've actually been there. Um, you guys had the smoked mac and cheese. Um, we sat outside on the patio, <clears throat> and we could see the ocean. Um, I'm trying to think. It was upstairs in that shopping mall area. It was like an outdoor shopping mall area. And then the restaurant, which was like this barbecue steak barbecue restaurant and we sat outside on the patio up on this table that was on high lifted chairs and the table set up high you may or may not remember but um we had a great time with auntie Anne. so that's about it for today um memory um all right here's a memory <laughs> it just came to my mind now, there was a time that we were eating super healthy, and there was a time before we were eating super healthy where um, we would eat whatever we wanted, right? So, and including popcorn. And so, just as memory came to mind, is that when we would go to the movie theaters, we would make our own popcorn at home. The movie, you know, like the microwave kind which was the movie theater, but it was better and maybe more better. And we have to pay the price for it. We'd make our own popcorn at home. And then we would, why you What laugh? price did you pay for? Our price the that price we of paid admission. was. I'm not, no, rhetorical. Was free. Don't need an answer. Our <laughs> price for the popcorn was free. Well, it wasn't free really because we did still buy the microwave popcorn bags at the store. But we would make the microwave popcorn at home and then we put them into Ziploc baggies 
and we would stuff them in our coat pockets along with some soda bob and whatever else we chose to drink. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, now I'm realizing I have to repent for that because that was, yeah, not cool. Um, your biological dad, Brian, he did it too. In fact, he was probably the one who instigated it all. I think he would take you guys to the um, dollar store, to the Dollar Tree, and you guys would go pick up candy and stuff your coats with candy as well. Um, so yeah, that was a memory I had. It's not the best of honest memories. Um, even if everybody in the whole wide world does this to save a dollar or two, um, I don't recommend it. I advise against it. Um, eat plenty of candy and popcorn before you go to the theater if you can't afford the candy and the popcorn and the soda there. That's the best advice I could give you guys. Um, otherwise save up and then share. Like get one of those huge giant popcorns. Everyone share because it's usually you can refill it for free. And then share it like amongst you know a huge family maybe a family of seven you know or whatever it is um yeah because you can always go refill it so i love you guys i miss you hadid is there anything you want to share with uh warren and clara or or anyone who might be watching this or following us no. i know we're having a hard I time seeing the light that Warren and Clara, that you realize just how amazing um, of a miracle you are. The chances alone of you existing are like astronomical, but then the chances of you being the kind of people that you are, from what your mom tells me, is even more astronomical. Like, wow. You're very special, you guys. You're yeah. very, very special. Yeah. You're like angels. Maybe you are. Maybe they Could are. you be an angel? Alright, goodbye. Alright, I love you guys. I miss you so much. So much. Father God, I ask that you bless them tonight. Keep your hand upon them, Lord. Um, I thank you for the gifts that they are, not only to me and Hadid and our family, but the gifts that they are to this world. I thank you, Father. And Lord, we love you. And we thank you that you're showing yourself as real to Warren and Clara, that you are God of the universe. You are the God, the maker of the heavens and the earth and everything within it. And um, we just thank you. I thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross to pay a price for us that we don't deserve. I thank you, Father, in your name. Amen. I love you guys. God bless you. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. Bye.